the case welcome back to tech you then today we are going to solve a lead code problem the prefix common array of two arrays what is the problem and then what is the approach and how we can solve the problem step by step let's dive deeper into the problem this is the problem that we are going to solve today the prefix common array of two arrays so what is the problem will be given two arrays array a and array b here you can see array a and array b so we need to return a common array that has common elements till the ith index of the common array let's open our visualizer to have better understanding we have given two arrays array a and array b we have given two arrays we need to return a third array the common array with the same size as the given array that common array should has the common elements up to i think next for zero it should have the common elements between uh, a and b till the index zero for index one it should have the common elements between a and b till the index two let's see when for index zero there is no common elements for a it is one for b it is three so there is no common element so it is zero for for one there are two common elements for a we have one three and for b we have three one the order doesn't matter we have two common elements so it should be two in the same case for three we have three common elements in a we have one three two in b we have three one two so we should return three in the index two in the finally four we have four common elements one three two four three one two four we have four elements common so this is the output that we need to return so here there is a constraint the index will have only one to n elements if the size is four both a and b have one to four elements like the size is four so it has one two three four four elements but in a different order so till index i we need to return how many common elements and we need to return the final array so how we can approach this problem and how we can solve that just see so this is a code that we are going to use to solve this problem we have and here we have the common array of size and we are returning that finally and we are taking a frequency array to track the frequency of each number we got till now like the frequency of one will be stored in frequency of one we are taking plus one because we have the elements from one to n not zero to n minus one we have the elements from one to n so to adjust that we have taken n plus one so that the frequency of one will be in frequency of one and frequency of two will be there in frequency at index two so to maintain that we have taken plus one as a frequency index let's see that so we have taken a frequency array with n minus n plus one which is n plus one is n is four plus one five we have five elements in our frequency array now take a variable count so we are taking a variable count to count the current till now how many common elements to track that so how we can track that now let's start the procedure so we'll start with zero the first index and the frequency of a of i equal to i mean before that we'll increment a of i by one so we'll increment zero by one and then if the frequency becomes two we'll increment the count by one if not we won't increment the count in the same way if b of i in this case 3 then frequency of b of i which is 3 becomes 1 but since the frequency is still 1 we are not incrementing the count so the count by default it is initialized with 0 so the common of i common of 0 will be 0 let's see so this is the 0th index when we process this since the frequency of 1 is only one so the count is not incremented the frequency of 3 is still one so the count is not incremented since the count is not incremented still zero the common of zero is still zero so let's go to next step when we come here 
the frequency of 3 is 2 and the count will become 1 it is incremented as stated here the frequency of 1 becomes 2 then then the count is incremented again now the count is 2 so the common of 1 is incremented as thus the count is placed in common of 1 which is in this line you can see next when we go next step we have a of y is 2 in the first case the frequency of a of i becomes 1 since, since it is becoming 1 the frequency won't be 2 it is 1 in the first case in this line the frequency just 1 so the count won't be incremented in the second case that is also 2 so here the frequency will become 2 then the count will be incremented on the count then will be placed in the common let's see that so a becomes 1 the count not incremented and then b of i is equals 1 the count has incremented then it is updated to 3 so this is how a of i for the first one the frequency will be 1 so the count won't be incremented for in the second case we are updating the frequency of Two again so the frequency becomes 2 here since the frequency is equals to 2 we are updating the count then the same count we are putting it in the common again now the finally when the four the first four frequency is updated but the count is not incremented for the second four the frequency is updated now it is 2 the count is incremented then this count is placed here the finally we are returning this result which is nothing but our required result so see that in action so this is the same solution that we have implemented let's run this so it is accepted now we got the correct result 0 2 3 4 how you understood how this code is working we have seen it usually we have seen it so hope you enjoyed this if you like this video hit that like button right now and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content and if you have any doubts in this problem or any other problem comment down below then i will make videos on that problem if you want any particular topic uh, just comment down below i will make a video on that particular topic thank you for watching have a good day bye bye